Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you for taking your coffee and donut break with me, Laura, guys. Today is Monday, March 1st, 2021, and I know a lot of you were waiting for the month of March. A lot of great things are happening in the month of March, but let's start with Sunday, March 14th. On Sunday, March 14th, it is daylight saving time in the state of Georgia. It starts at 2 a.m. On March 20, it marks the beginning of spring. So look forward to that, guys. Even greater news, guys, a lot of you will be receiving your payments from the Georgia Department of Labor. And I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about what you may expect after the March 14 deadline. Before I get started, guys, I do want to shout out a few of my subscribers who updated me with some great news. And I just wanna say that I'm so happy that some of you are receiving your money, that you're getting unlocked. And I just wanna give you guys a shout out. For a lot of you, this is very frustrating as you've been trying to reach the Georgia Department of Labor and you're not able to, you have a lot of issues that have not been answered. But I will tell you that with persistence, you will get through, guys. These are just a few of my subscribers who have finally gotten through, finally receiving payments or just getting unlocked for their accounts. At least they are one step closer and you can do the same as well, guys. So keep trying, keep pushing. You will get your money. So let's start with Tanya Williams. And she says, just wanted to report back. After waiting and trying to restart my PUA after my week's exhausted December 8th, and reaching out to Georgia Department of Labor since December 2020. Okay, so she's been reaching out to the Georgia Department of Labor since she exhausted December 8, 2020. And we are now in the month of March, guys. She gave me this update yesterday and she says, I finally was able to verify through ID me, reset my Georgia Department of Labor password, log in to my UI, for which two days later, I received a deposit. Yes, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear that money going into y'all accounts, y'all. However, once released, my PUA amount decreased to half of what I had been receiving. I figure out why. Still unable to get Georgia Department of Labor on the phone. No response to email inquiries. Their website or social media is not mentioning decrease of PUA payments. So the frustration continues with the Georgia Department of Labor. But praise God, I received something. Thanks, Ms. Laura, for your help and you responding. Wondering if anyone else has experienced decrease in PUA payments. First of all, I am very happy to hear that she is receiving payments, but she is saying here that she's receiving less. I do not have that answer. So if any of you, part of our community, understands or knows what is going on as far as decreased PUA, please let us know in the comments. This is the type of updates that I want to hear. I want to hear that you guys are getting through the Georgia Department of Labor. I want to hear that you are being unlocked and you're finally able to claim your weeks, guys. This means so much to me. Also got an update from Charlie who says, I finally got back into my account today and got good. So Charlie been locked out of his account for a few weeks. So I'm so happy that he is finally into his account where he can start claiming his weeks. So I'm asking that he does update us and let us know when he started getting that money into that account. So I know that's what matters the most, guys. So thank you guys for those updates. I am so happy things are working out for y'all. So now let's talk about who's going to be receiving their money for the month of March. So according to the Georgia Department of Labor website, there hasn't been any new updates since February 22nd, 2021. So phase three is for individuals who would be expecting a payment for the month of March. And that includes payments for SEB claimants that have exhausted and did not continue to request weekly payments. Additional application may be required. And it also says here payments to release in March, including the $300 FPUC weekly supplement also say payments for PUA claimants that have exhausted before December 26, 2020 and did not continue to request weekly payments. Additional application may be required. Payments to release in March, including the $300 FPUC weekly supplement. Hopefully, guys, if another application is needed, the Georgia Department of Labor should contact you guys by email 
or put that information in your UI portal. So hopefully that's how that works. Keep in mind, guys, that the website says that payments will be released in March. There is no specific date when in March, and today is the 1st of March. So it could be this week, next week, the week after, but it's saying March. I will keep you guys updated if there's any changes. If it says early March, late March, sometimes they make those type of changes. So I will update you all. As far as the unemployment extension, there is no exact word yet. However, the House has passed the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, which is now going over to Senate. Once it is approved in Senate, it then goes back to the House and then it will go to Joe Biden's desk for him to sign, guys. So it is going to be a process. Hopefully, it will be before the March 14th deadline. I suggest, guys, is for you all to save some money in the event that the unemployment extension does not kick in before March 14. In addition to that, you know how the Georgia Department of Labor system is. You are aware of the delays. You are aware of the backlog. You are aware of the phone system. That has not changed and it's not going to change just because there is a employment extension. There's not going to be any changes to their phone system in the next few weeks. It's been like this since the beginning. It's still like that. So do not expect things to run so smoothly, especially after this new bill is put into effect. So they have to get those payments in. They have to allocate those funds. They have to still go through a whole lot of process. It's gonna be more people calling in all y'all going to be calling in again. So it's just a whole process starting all over again. So just be ready, y'all. That is why I will tell y'all, go file your taxes. Hey guys, I went on the Georgia Department of Labor website. And what it's saying here is today over 191,000 jobs are listed online for Georgians to access. It also says these listings could include multiple positions for each job indicating a much higher number of jobs available. And it says to look for great employment opportunities, head to, and it gives a link. This tweet follows a few days ago when Commissioner Butler says a lot of you do not qualify for unemployment. And what he's saying is those of you who have not received any payments, you do not qualify for unemployment. So a long time ago, guys, I learned to read between the lines, y'all. All right, guys, have a great day.